Hey, what's up everybody? Sarah Gulo here. So now it's time that a lot of you are coming for your annual reviews if you're in investment banking, investment management, private equity, etc. So I actually just talked with two people this week and last. Um, by the way, if you want to consult with me on this, if you have questions about it, my rate is $250 an hour. We could do 15 minutes, email me, okay? But here's what I'm going to say about your annual review. It's that you really shouldn't be waiting to see what the company says, okay? You should go into that annual review with an agenda, meaning you want to be very clear about how much money you expect in a bonus, and then if they give you more, then you would want to know why they justified that amount. So, you know, they you expected a $100,000 bonus. They give you one hundred fifty. dollars You say, thank you so much. I was curious. What made you decide to give me that amount of bonus? What, what was it about my performance that you felt was valuable to your firm? Because you want to repeat that and add on to it. Or let's say you wanted 100 and they gave you 70, right? Then you also want to know, well, how do, what do you feel was valuable that I did this year? Okay, what do you feel could have been done better? Okay, so you, what I'm trying to say is you've got to calibrate the bonus that they give you with the expectation of performance and make sure that you all are both on the same page about what was done versus what wasn't done. And the other thing is don't go in there and if they say like, oh yeah, you know, we wanted you to do the valuations a little bit better. You know, we felt like you weren't really that articulate in front of our biggest clients. Then you're going to be like, oh, no, hold up, hold up. You got to, you got to give them the evidence. Like if you feel like you were, you got to be ready to fight. So my advice would be have a list of all the meetings that you had and what were the major contributions that you made to these clients? And because, you know, bosses are, can sometimes be like really quick to forget that time that it was like three o'clock on a Saturday and you canceled your birthday dinner so that you could go address that client conference call where the client was freaking out about something. Like, let's say that happened in like February and now it's December and they're giving bonuses. Like they're going to forget about that, right? Especially if you like kind of mess something up in October, that's what they're going to be remembering in their mind. So... Like what I'm saying is be ready to fight, but I don't mean fight like with animosity. I mean, be ready to justify what you feel the value was. The other thing is remember that the annual review is a great opportunity for you to discuss the, your growth path at the company. So have an idea of what the possible contributions that you would like to make in the future would be and have a strategy also have a, an idea of the resources it would take to allow you to make that contribution. For example, oh, you know, I would love to be able to manage the international equity portfolio as the junior associate. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to learn how to use the Bloomberg terminal. There's a free training class. I can go to a Bloomberg next week. Like what I'm saying is do the research for them. It's, now this is really a time to be entrepreneurial because you are center stage with them in the review. And the other thing is, Bosses are really impressed when someone comes in there and conducts themselves professionally, is prepared, and is strategic. There's so such a scarcity of that that if you do that, you might find that maybe, you know, even if you don't get what you want during the annual review and you don't get that bonus, you know, they're in control and they make the decision. So if you made a positive impression on them when you were center stage, you'd be surprised because there's a lot of activity in the beginning of the year. Maybe in January, February, they're coming back to you. Maybe they're saying, you know, we didn't think you were the right fit, but now this person's left and we'd like to give you this opportunity, this new company at our firm, and here's more money for it. See what I'm saying? So you kind of have their ear at this moment and don't, don't, don't pass up that opportunity. So like I said, if you want to consult with me, I am offering now, you know, I, my rate is 250 an hour. People normally don't spend the full hour on a career consultation like this. Like I could talk with you for 15 minutes. It's not going to kill you. I'm a great investment here of your time and of your money. So if you want to know how to invest in that, just go ahead and, you know, you could just click email me below. My information's in the summary box. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe to my channel.